Welcome to Noiter, where anything and everything will kill you. And yes, I do mean everything. But we're not here to talk about Noiter, we're here to talk about following everything. Noiter's game engine. But what is following everything? Well, following everything is a game engine that can simulate pixel physics. That includes solids, for example, sands, liquids, gases, and even rigid bodies. How does it do that? Good question, and we are going to answer that. It does that by checking if there's anything below a pixel. If nothing, it will fall, both to the middle or left and right. For liquids, it will also check the direct left and right to fill empty spaces, and you reveal it, you get gases. And this is an earlier prototype of the game engine itself. For rigid bodies, it will first create vertices for every pixel, and then simplify the pixel into something like this. And then they will triangulate it to free up more computing power as it's much more easier to render and calculate. And you allocate all the pixels into their own triangles and voila! Now you have done the rigid body. And here is the end product. You can even cut them and see how they will even react with the physical world as intended. So, how does falling everything handle so many physics? Well, by only updating moving pixels while grouping them into dirty squares as idle pixels are pretty stable, and then we will slice the grids into sectors. So this is an example of handling all the pixels into dirty squares. And then we cut them out into sectors, and so multi-threading is possible because not the same pixel will not be processed again and again to create chaos. So now this is a third two sector, and all the updating will be given to two threads. You can refer to the source for more info. And for continuous large world, Noita handles this by procedural generation. So the yellow square here is the player screen, the blue squares are the updating squares, and then the pink squares are loaded on the disk but not updated. And that's it. Check out the source for further info. And this video is brought to you by using Godot Engine. Thanks for watching.